Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name is Andre from Cloud Solutions and I have a um, strong background and work with um, Zoho CRM, Zoho Inventory, Zoho Books and Analytics and have a financial accounting background that helps me and my customers um, deal with these challenges with these uh, particular products. So I'm going to share with you some work we've done for a customer recently um, who use inventory in books as well as CRM, but we will focus primarily on the transactions within Soho Inventory. If you've got questions you wish to share with me uh, or any additional um, work that or functionality you would like, please give us an email at inquiry at cloudsolutions.asia. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done with this customer. Firstly, their list of issues they wanted to resolve was really to better track margins and percentages and understand how they're going from day to day um, with their sales. So what we've done firstly is at item level, we've introduced something called margin value, uh, that's the dollar value, and margin percentage. So for each item we're able to calculate uh, those particular items. Also uh, on a sales order we're then able to calculate order margin and order percentage. Customer also has concerns about how much they've been charging for shipping and freight so they want us to help them reconcile the cost of shipping versus what they have been um, charging customers so we call this the shipping reconciliation showing a profit or loss on each order for shipping. Um, package creation or package delivery notes um, required some additional manual input so they've asked us to automate some of the key customer data and automatically load that into the delivery note or if the customer changes the address they want for shipping or advises us later, we can just update the order uh, and the packing slip will reflect those changes automatically. For invoicing, they wanted to, uh, the agreement they have with their salespeople is that uh, commissions paid on the sales invoice rather than the sales order. So they want to calculate a sales commission per invoice and furthermore just show the margin and the margin percentage on uh, each invoice. Now the sales commission comes back to the item so for each item we would individually state that this item gets 3% commission for example this one can get 5 so it's not a blanket cover we can itemize it down to uh, individual items. On the right hand side here you've got a screenshot of say the standard sales order that we've got in the system and you can see the data is showing that for the shipping reconciliation, the shipping profit or loss for this order the, they lost $13 meaning that their estimate of charges was not the same as the freight company ended up uh, charging. Overall order margin was $371 that gave us a percentage of 46%. Uh, export just refers to whether this product was exported or was sold locally within their customer's country. For the future, they have got some other things I've been discussing with us. They understand now that um, they could now set annual targets, either of dollar value or margin percentages per product and then they could compare their forecasts and targets um, quite easily um, because we now have that detailed information. They want to help calculate the cube for freight to try and once the dimensions of the products are loaded in to try and get more accurate with their shipping costs or their charges for shipping um, and also some of their customers have different terms and conditions so they want to automate the loading in of the terms and conditions correctly each time an invoice is, um, is raised. Now in addition to this once we've been able to build that data correctly 
Zoho Analytics has then um, been a powerful tool to visualize that data in graphs and um, uh, widget dashboards with numbers of sales up or down from last month, etc. So this particular graph just shows the sales for the month broken down by product margin. So we can see the areas with uh, all the products that are selling and giving us the most margin. So let's now jump in and have a look at um, how we've achieved some of this for the customer. Right, the first thing we need to do is have a look um, at our items. And our items are based um, in Zoho inventory. However, we would have exactly the same um, information available in Zoho books because they're looking at the same items. But, but generally, if you're working with inventory, you're working inside inventory. So you can see what we'll do is we'll open this particular product up. And you'll see that the, this is our cost price. Um, it's calculated from our selling price, our margin, our margin percentage. Um, we also have a calculation based on target selling price and then the sales commission for the individual um, salesman if they sell this particular product. Uh, what we'll do here, um, we'll just update the cost price and you'll see that the margin is about 43 and the dollar value is about 530. Um, we'll just save that and then uh, we'll come back to this record in a moment because it takes uh, about a minute or so to actually calculate. So we'll have a look at um, some sales orders for a minute. So let's have a look at uh, this particular sales order. And you can see here the sales order has added up those particular items uh, that are in the order and then has given us a overall margin uh, dollar value profit, if you like, and also a margin um, percentage. So um, let's go back and now check how those items are going and just see if it's calculated. You could actually just wait for a moment. At, um, here we go, you see. So the margin's now recalculated to 413 and the margin percentage has dropped down to 34%. So let me go back and um, just re-update that to what the real cost is and we'll let that recalculate again in a moment. Um, while we're looking at that, you could also notice that actually from your mobile phone screen, which I'm looking at here, if you're using the mobile phone app, you will see that all of that data comes through and you can see that on your app without um, any trouble there. So that's also useful to check this information when you're uh, not in the office. Okay, let's have a look now at the um, sales order again. So we'll go back to the sales order and we'll have a look at one of the issues I talked about as far as the um, package creation. So if we have a look at this order, you can see that they've got no uh, package uh, created yet. So we're going to create a new package and you see this is the screen this customer uses. Um, some of the information about the contact person and email, etc., is not yet completed. They also have calculations on, on the um, cube of the um, process or the items being shipped as well. So what I'm going to do is just uh, save this item. And you'll notice that um, the contact information, etc., has not been uh, completed. So if we go back to the sales order, what we will do on the sales order itself is have a look at the, um, when this arrives, we'll have a look at the shipping uh, details. So you can see here, this is where we are, uh, the customer is going to send the freight to. So you could change your shipping address, but by doing that basically and entering save, we should find that um, in a moment the packaging data 
will be updated and it has so it's automatically updated the shipping address we've identified it's brought across the mobile phone number of the customer plus their email etc and that's basically all uh, automatically done okay let's have a look at the profit um, uh, on the sale of items we're going to have a look at uh, this particular order um, now sometimes what happens and this still works is that you see we've sent two packages uh, um, because maybe the first order was um, available for stock but then the second part of the order wasn't so it is shipped at another point in time but actually um, the scripts work for more than one delivery, no problem. Um, so the idea here is you'll see that for this order, the profit, if you like, or the surplus on shipping was $5.60 or $5.65. Um, so what we're looking at here is really the shipping charges that we have charged the customer. And then once we receive the uh, invoice from the uh, freight company we track how much they've charged us on each particular delivery note so that was about twelve dollars and this one was about well so this same one let's go back and this one was thirty seven dollars so thirty seven and twelve you know um, uh, what's that thirty seven and twelve forty nine dollars something like that and we charged um, 57 now the calculations are also exclusive of tax so we take out VAT and GST because that's not relevant to our calculations so we end up with a net um, difference after GST etc of five dollars sixty five uh, so that that works very well for us and also the order margins are also done exclusive of uh, GST. Um, if we look at, say, invoicing, now another <coughs> area that becomes useful is once we have, um, say, look at the data for this year, we can also uh, now adjust the data on the screen so we could uh, look at the profit on shipping, maybe the order margin, um, and you would see that once I refresh they will be here as well. So you can see that I can see that data on here, I can quickly see which orders we haven't done well on the shipping, which orders we've done well with, or uh, the, the margins etc all uh, on the screen here so that's useful the other thing that sometimes happens is um, costs so for example this particular order we have accounted for costs so Let's say um, the customer wanted something modified or a different color or something and you had to spend money to go and get that or uh, something else happened and you had to do overnight delivery instead of three day delivery. So you can make a note here of any additional costs that were incurred in delivering this order and then the overall margin will take into account uh, any additional costs that were directly incurred because of this order. So we find that is um, also uh, useful when calculating margin and being more accurate. Okay, we'll have a look at the invoices now. <clears throat> so let's have a look invoices and we'll look up a particular invoice. Um, so we're looking at 1475 here and you'll see as I scroll down the invoice we've calculated a few items we've calculated the 
margin on the invoice. We're tracking an old invoice number as we've converted to books. And also, uh, we've calculated the salesman's commission, as we've been discussing in the past. The link to the um, sales order is here. So if we have a look at margin of 149, we have a look over on the sales order. You'll see that we've got exactly the same uh, thing. Okay, what we can do now is go across to, say, the CRM. We can have a look at uh, Zoho Finance. We can then have a look at, say, invoices. And we can search for the customer name contains the same. And we can find that same information inside the CRM. The main difference here is we don't have the bottom of the screen there, but if we edit the record, you can see that information is presented here, the commission, etc. inside that document is still available. We can also go over to books and we'll go to invoices and we'll have a look at the same and you'll see we've got exactly the same information available within books. So we've looked at uh, books and inventory and CRM and the same data, same invoice available in all the platforms. Okay, the last thing we should have a quick look at is the final results of the dashboard. So from the dashboard has been built up from Zoho Analytics and some of the numbers that are important for our customer, things like the orders for this month, um, that would be gross compared to last month, uh, order margins, ongoing percentage for last month, that's margin percentage, uh, margin percentage for the year, total margins for the year, etc. Uh, here we're looking at gross sales, gross margins, and then profit or loss on shipping that we've been discussing. We've been discussing the percentage of margin per item, and also the uh, by category products of net sales, and then the margin by category. So this margin, uh, this category has 31% of our margin, and 31% of our sales, or 40% of our sales. So these are the type of information we can start extracting once um, available. And of course, all these numbers can be drilled down and you can go further with the data and even open into Zoho Sheets where additional analytics can take place if required. So as we said in our um, beginning presentation. <clears throat> We've looked at margins per item, margins percentage, orders uh, and margin um, percentage by order, shipping reconciliations, package creation, sales commission, invoice margins, etc. And um, that, that all works very well for this customer. So if you're interested in any of the things that we've shown you that would work for your own business we're happy to work with you to implement if there's things that are very close to what you want of course it can be modified because it's a custom script and then we'll be able to achieve what you need to be able to achieve so i trust that's been useful and i thank you for your time watching this today